What is up everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So, as you can see, I'm on a completely new account. Don't worry, I haven't lost my account or anything. I just thought it'd be fun to try out just starting over completely fresh. I'm using a different emulator, so I haven't lost everything. Don't worry about that at all. There we go, let's equip this stuff. So yeah, I thought I would just take a look at the game and see how easy it is to go through completely free to play because a lot of people have asked well a lot of people have said that it's impossible to get to where I am with the amount of time I've put into the game without putting any money into the game at all so I thought I'd see if they're right or not right and now we should be able to uh, basic backpack can't get that yet right so I think before I start killing things I might actually let's see what buff the healer's got for us Increased experience, vehicle parts, energy. Okay, let's get an experience buff back in one moment. Just drift into sleep and you'll wake up a better person. Like, what kind of a saying is that? Okay, and we're back again. And we have now got double experience. I believe it's double experience. Temporary. Yep, exactly double experience for the next one hour. So, let's get to killing things. There we go. So, I, yeah, I'm using a different emulator, so I haven't got all of the controls set up perfectly on this one yet, unfortunately. So it is going to take a little while to get everything just running nice and smoothly. But, because I'm playing this again through for the second time, I kind of know what to avoid doing when making my base. Like, on my main account, my issue is that I built my base too close to one side of the map. So what I want to do is try and build it more central this time around. Okay, so I need to be finding a couple stones on the floor. Here we go. One, two, uh, let's take a log, and is there a third stone anywhere? There we are. And let's make ourselves a hatchet. And can we, yay, perfect. And we can make a backpack as well. Excellent. There we go, already progressing nice and quickly. So I think I'm not going to visit the airdrop right away. I'm going to wait until I've got a few storage boxes in my base, enough to actually stock up on it, and I'm not going to go there until I've got 100 energy. Because I want to try and get absolutely everything I can from there. Which won't be possible if I go there with not many boxes. Right, got a couple more trees left, and then we can start working on the base. Hey, and we're about to level up again. There we go. Get some plant fibers, see if we can get a couple of seeds. Excellent. So we can get started on some carrots really early on. That would be pretty nice, actually. Have we unlocked the grow bed? We have. Okay. Um, I'll unlock it. And I'll unlock that. Now, I've only got one more point. I'll save it for now. Right. Should be... Um, how do I... There we go. Nice and zoomed out. So, I think the centre is roughly this tile here. Do you agree? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in from that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in from that side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, I think I counted that wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I moved it. It was there before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so yeah, that's as central as we're going to get it. So we're going to have our center core, and then we'll build a... Probably we'll have the center core as a 3x3 three three for now. And it works out quite well. There we go. Now let's head over to it. Right, and because we're not going to be getting into raiding for a while yet... You know, we'll have our door there, and then just bring our walls all the way around. Ah, and we're out of wood. 
Right, I feel like I shouldn't have bothered putting on walls yet, because the horde will just destroy them. But if I remember correctly, the horde doesn't break as many walls when you're a lower level. That might be completely wrong, and that, yeah, I could have just said some absolute rubbish that is not true. So, apologies if I've just given you wrong information. And why is someone repeatedly tagging me on Discord? Go away, I'm busy. Right. And this should be enough to finish off our walls and then build a couple little chests. Uh, can we kill this in one hit? No. Uh, you know what, you can stay wandering around for a bit. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, so we want a couple more walls down here. No, not there. Oh well. Started going on a little bit of honeycomb, I guess. Furniture-wise, let's make... Uh, we could get one box for now. Let's put that up in this corner. No, up that corner. There we go. And we're going to need a few more of these plant fibers in order to get some more of them. And you know what? I might as well place down my grow bed already so there's no harm in getting a couple more trees. I've been tagged again in Discord. I'm going to check what this is quickly in case it's important. And it is not. Okay. Hey, another level up. So that's put us at, what, level 4 already? Nice. So we're getting 20 XP per hit on the tree. Let's make that. What are we going to need for this? Some 5 iron ore. Okay. So I might actually work on trying to get the woodworking bench built as soon as possible, since we know how useful that's going to be in upgrading our base. Alright, have we got... How many stones have we got? Right. Only got 2. Gonna need to make a pickaxe. Here we go. And how much wood have we got? Yeah, we've got a lot. Okay, we'll just go straight for the pickaxe because I can't find any more wood at all to get some more stone. So yeah, trying to do this as more of a beginner's tutorial to the game. See if I can help people out of it. And yeah, honestly, I want to see how far I can get single player. Uh, single player? Free to play. And I'm really looking forward to doing my first run of the bunker. Which should be quite fun. Opening my first green crate again. I do miss those things in the game. Right, now let's get another hatchet. Perfect. Right, I think we'll get one more level up. And then probably head in, head out to see what events we've got showing up. Because if we're really lucky, there'll be an airdrop on the map already. With a chance of a Glock for us. Now, I think, if I remember correctly, when you first get into Bunker Alpha, there's a load of zombies there. That might be completely wrong, and I think that's actually Bunker Bravo. But either way, we're not going to be going to the bunker for a while. At least not until we've reached, I'd say, whatever level this is. Level 16, so we can get this armor. Yeah, it's probably about then. Right, have I built my gun crop? Yes, I have. And I accidentally opened my file browser. Okay. So, let's just put this straight up right there for now. Right, we've got seven seeds. That'll get us 14 carrots. So, we're already well on the way to getting some decent health restory things. Okay. Oh, yeah. I wanted to make a few more boxes, didn't I? There we go. Let's get one of them. Unlock that. And we'll get that built. Perfect. Right, so I think what we'll do is get that, rotate that, put that there. Let's get a full stack of wood to be going in there, and then we'll head off out. Right, nice to so level 5 already. We'll probably be level 6 by the time we finish chopping all these trees. E. I don't like how it keeps freezing. I definitely prefer blue, ta blue stacks to Nox. This, yeah, it doesn't run as well in here, and the graphics do look a little bit more blurry. Which is a bit weird. Right, there we go, got full stack of 20. And let's just grab these, see if we can get a few more seeds. Ooh, and you know what? If we're going to go out, we're going to need some berries. Just to keep us alive. Plot 5 and 1 seed. And grab them. Perfect. Alright, so we've got one more seed to go in there. Excellent. Right, we are now getting a bit hungry and thirsty, but that's fine. You take that, 
and resourcey things can go in here and other stuff can go in there right let's just eat these berries oh you know what we get the here we go daily food and water so we can drink that now stash them and I'll take the bean cans with me right let's go see what's going on about here yeah I'm gonna grab couple more berries just because they're right here next to us and let's see if we get an airdrop be pretty nice if we can it's talking about supply drops there and I'm guessing it's the crash plane yeah it's crash plane and uh, that's unfortunate oh we've got someone called I am easy uh, we got player 8095 Ooh, you know what what we could do is actually go and raid one of the AI bases because if we can get that this early on, we can actually get a couple of decent items from there. Because I believe from that one, we can do it mostly with the uh, stone hatchets, I believe. Pretty sure, at least. But first off, we're going to obviously need to make a load more hatchets. And to do that, we're going to need some wood. Hey, I think there's a dead military guy there telling us the bunker. I'll do it. Hey, Fabiola. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Hey, we got the chopper wheel because he's our first AI. And I'll take the backpack because we'll probably end up needing that anyway. Right, let's see what the bunker code is. 30928. Cool. Right. Oh, <gasps> we got a puppy! Oh, I forgot we get a puppy! We just got a puppy! <laughs> oh, it's so cute. We have really got to make sure that we don't die with that puppy. Because I'll feel like a horrible person. Hey, and of course we can still watch adverts at energy as well. So it might be worth going to the crash plane. Might be worth it. You know what? No point in avoiding things. Let's see if we can unlock a skill. I think at this early point in the game, a useful skill would be... Hmm, probably the better logs... I don't know, any of them will probably come in kind of handy. Let's see what we can get from in here. Come on, give us a gun. Eh. All good things that we're going to need to stock up on. Right, a couple more zombies. Just eating some berries there to get myself a little bit less hungry. Perfect. Right. I think we're probably getting towards enough wood. Yeah, there we go. And our pickaxe broke, so... Um, hatchet broke, I mean. So we'll leave it at that. Hey! Level 7 already. Nice. Right, and we can start working on the chopper. Hey! And we got a hammer from here. Even better. A couple more melee weapons. Won't go amiss. Get 100 XP from that. Wow. So actually, probably clearing out this zone would easily level us up and probably teach us a new skill, which would be quite cool. So I can't believe, I forgot that you get a puppy in your first zone. Right, what is going to be more important here? Hmm. I can take that. I can't take the one. I can, uh, I'll take that. And I'll take that instead of... Hmm. I'm going to leave the one wire there for now. I know I'll probably regret that when I come to making the CB radio. But I should be able to get some more easy enough. Doubt it's that difficult to get wire in these zones. And no room for any of that. But we need the hide. Mm. You know what we can do? Let's make room. Perfect. Because the hide is going to be pretty important for just general making armour. Well, the reinforced armor, I suppose. Five. There we go. Right, how many stones are we up to? Up to 12. Few more to get. Alright. Hey, and another zombie. So, okay, we're at 28% of a skill. Our thing is almost broken, so we might need to start using a spear, possibly. Let's take the hide from you and eat the raw meat. I said eat the raw meat. Thank you. Right, we've got another zombie here. 
And I think these are probably the last two zombies in this zone. E and another rope. Collecting all the rope, just because I'm going to need to make armor. Hey. Oh, my chest piece is getting close to breaking. That sucks. Hey, you level up. One, two, three. One. No! Here we go. This is where it's going to start getting slightly more difficult. But if I remember correctly, the first time you die, they actually give you some weapons, don't they? I think they send you a machete to your inbox, if that's not wrong. Hmm. Right, are there any more stones around here? I know we've got some back at our base zone and we are going to have to visit there before we can head out. Here we go. So we're at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. And now I've been tagged eight more times in Discord. What is going on? Right. One moment. Alright, and we're loading back into the base. Hopefully... I'm not sure where I was going with that. I just randomly said hopefully I thought I'd have something to say. Please rate our game. I'll give you four stars. No, don't open this. I don't want to... No, can I go back to my game, please? Thank you. That wasn't annoying at all. Don't want to be looking at all that stuff. And are there jazz? Right. Let's drop off a few things in here. Um, how's that going? Yeah, we've got one plank already. We are one twentieth of the way to a wall. Ouch, that kind of sucks. Right, resources go in here. Uh, you can take the rope, you can take that, you can take that. Keeping the other bits on me. And there we go, our first chopper wheel. Right, let's go and raid a base. And perfect. When do we get the CB radio? There we go. Let's learn that. The furnace. Uh, 10 of 5. You know what? We'll deal with that when we get back. Ah, I haven't got any controls set to use my beans. That's not good. Um, put that there as Q. Save. There we go. Perfect. Right. Yeah, should be good. So we've got, I think it's what, five or six hatchets? We should hopefully be able to break into this base. I'm not going to lie, I can't remember what type of walls it's got. But let's go over there and have a look, yeah? Okay, let's raid I Am Easy. See what goodies we can get from them. So yeah, people that are new to the game, definitely try and raid these AI bases. They may... First up, don't worry, they are not real people. You're not going to lose stuff from raiding them. Oh, it's got stone walls here. Didn't know that. And... Okay, they haven't done much there. So, I wonder if anyone's actually come back. Do you need to break those stone walls to get into another section? Nah, there's a wooden door. Okay, and here we are, straight into a couple chests. We gonna get anything good? Hey, look at that, free resources. And a bit of jerky. That is absolutely nothing to frown at. Right. And what's this box down here going to give us? Then I think we'll break into that section there. Eight carrots. And some clothes that we haven't got yet. Perfect. Right. Uh, nope. Don't open Google Maps. I'll have to cut that because it showed my address. Uh, let's put that as E. Uh, escape. Save. Perfect. Right. Now can we... Uh, requires an iron hatchet. Okay, so can we go in through here? Yes, we can. Uh, 
There we go. Right, how many hatchets we got left? Just the one. Right, so we should be able to break into at least one box, I think. Hey! And we've got enough stuff so we can make ourselves another hatchet and break into this one. Perfect. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to break into their main section. And look at that. Some swap boots, some military stuff. Let's equip this and... Right. Okay, so I actually kind of want most of this stuff. What could we leave behind? I don't think we're going to have a need for tape for quite a while. And you know what? Let's leave the water bottles behind. Um, 20 limestone. What are we going to use that for? I'm not sure. Melee weapons are going to come in the most useful at the moment, I think. So let's go for that. And look at that. We're 11% on a raider's skill. Okay. And, oh yeah, I forgot to check. What have they got in their truck? And, ah, yep. Yeah, got to unlock it, of course. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Alright, well, everybody, I'm going to end off the first episode of the new Last Enough series here. Hope you're all enjoying it so far, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to probably, off camera, try and make a few base upgrades, level up a bit, and start working on the radio. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Hang on. Just after I left that area, an airdrop popped up on the map, so let's see what we can get from it. One thing I don't like about the game, if I'm in this red forest area and that shows up next to me, I can't run there. You still have to use the chopper to get there, which to me doesn't make sense. I think if you're already at a zone right next to it, you should be able to go straight there. But I suppose it's supposed to be a nice little reward for... Oh, okay. So we're going to have to be killing these. Should help us level up. Probably a little bit faster, in fact. I wonder if we'll get another dog from this airdrop. Ooh, a floater bloater. This should give us like 200 XP, I think. 500 XP from a floater bloater. Nice. Right, and here we go. Let's check the airdrop, see what we're going to get from it. Come on, give us a gun. Gun would be really nice. Or a bunker alpha access card, because we're going to need to get one of them. Uh, that's all some pretty nice stuff. Okay, right, now I'm actually going to end off the episode here, so thanks for watching, goodbye people, and come join my Discord, links in the description.